for some people in Austin, kids have always been missing. It shouldn't take a, a pandemic for us to understand that. There was a couple of students at Adobe Middle School that we just can't get a hold of. We had tried everything, phone calls, emails, to the point where it was like, what do we do now? It's the 305. All right. I'm out there trying to look for students, you know? That's what I told myself. I'm gonna try to find every student on this list. So we have a we miss you letter? We have homeless families. Some of the kids, they don't have computers or internet. You have some kids that just got here. They're barely learning English. And now we're putting a computer and internet in front of them. Let's try the other apartment. Rumberg and uh, 35 is Little New York. I mean, there's so many different cultures here. Guatemala, El Salvador, Mexico. We have 15 different languages at Adobe. That's literally the community I grew up in. I remember just struggling so much when I was a kid. We were homeless for a while. There was a person in my life that did exactly what I did and they helped my uh, family out. That always kind of stuck with me that one day I'm going to be able to help somebody too. Some of these kids have been dealing with stuff even before this pandemic. The kids are definitely not missing, just that the situations are just so different for a community like Rumberg compared to a community like, I don't know, West, West Austin or something. Para mí ha sido un poco complicado y desconcertante. Mi hija me dice a mí, eh, Mam mami, yo quiero trabajar, yo te quiero apoyar. Pues, pero yo le comento a ella que todo tiene su tiempo y que ella tiene que tener una meta a corto tiempo, que es el idioma. Y eso a ella le va a beneficiar. Trato de, de, este, de motivarlos, aunque yo no sé tampoco el idioma, porque nosotros somos padres de familia, no somos profesores. A veces me da desesperación porque no puedes ayudar a tus hijos. Hopefully this pandemic and all this COVID stuff teaches us that we may live in a great city, it's a beautiful city, but the in inequities are still here. And there's some neighborhoods that still need our help. And there's some families that are still missing, as they say. And there's some students that we should have found years ago.